What's up everybody and welcome back to the YouTube channel. I hope everyone is well. I'm absolutely great, thank you for asking. I just got back from Croatia. I was away in Croatia for five days. If you don't follow me on Instagram, you should follow me on Instagram because I do, it's much easier to pick up a phone and do rather than, than do stuff. It's quite hard to vlog out there to be honest. Um, especially as like when you see one old town, you sort of see them all. <laughs> um, but I had a great time just chilling out, relaxing with the mumsy. Um, and we're now back ready. Uh, I lost about five kilos. <laughs> lost five kilos. A couple of kilos maybe from growth hormone. Uh, actually, probably not that much. Probably a kilo from growth hormone and four kilos of whatever. Glycogen, water, maybe some fat. Probably not muscle, cause just because I'm on glass still. Um, day one, got a little bit more up. Day two, a little bit higher. Tomorrow, next day, give me five days, I'll be back to uh, that weight where it was. Uh, but today, guys, we're going to talk about specifically how I'm going to get a thicker back, how I'm going to get an Olympia level standard back after watching the Olympia this weekend. Uh, and we've just done a little shorter video on this, but I wanted to take you through an elongated session so you can see actually how we supplement those specific movements that we talked about within that exercise, well, within that uh, video. Um, so we'll go into that now because I've talked too much already, so let's go. Starting off with a hamstring curl here. I like to use this pull day as a, as a chance to just top up that hamstring volume and a little bit of glute volume as you'll see in the next exercise. We're gonna move on to a uh, 45 degree hip extension. And we're essentially gonna put a challenge through that posterior chain, glutes, uh, a little bit of lower back as well. Uh, I've still not been deadlifting just because I'm still 12, th maybe 13 weeks post hernia surgery. I'm probably just gonna give it another month and then I'll probably start building deadlifts back into the routine because uh, I do want to load that, that posterior chain really really well especially specifically though like the mid back so we'll just load this up we'll get into it start with my hands pretty much straight out and as I come up I'm gonna bring them closer into me and that's that's basically just to manipulate that resistance profile to match the glutes where the glutes need a little bit of a drop-off as they get shorter um, so whenever you're doing any type of hip hinge you'll see that you actually get a little bit closer towards towards the midsection of the body so creates a little bit of a drop-off here so whenever you do do this hip extension I'll try to do the same The exercise that we talked about in that previous sit down video but obviously you're going to see the full set here and you're going to see how I attack it now I've never ever loaded like scap protraction and retraction but of course there is so much of the back of that shoulder the traps the rhomboids that are pulling it back and pulling you into that scap retraction that it, it it makes sense to kind of do it I don't know why I've not been doing it I think especially when someone's weakness is perhaps the density of those muscles specifically because I haven't deadlifted for a while and I can't deadlift that well it kind of makes a lot of sense to me so you know, when you're doing this, you're going through two phases of the moment. You've heard this a few times before on the channel, so bear with me. Uh, you're going through spinal flexion as much as you can, using this as like the figure point to bend over. So hopefully you can see it a bit further. Full spinal flexion, full protraction. Then you come into full spinal extension, and as you're doing that, you go through a full retraction. So it's like a two-in-one movement, but at what point do you work full spinal flexion and then also full protraction and retraction? Not very often. So if you haven't tried this, give it a go. Uh, I've, I started on like 20 kilos each hand and I worked up to like 40, so let's see how we are. Now 
to finish off that upper back line. We're going to focus on dragging these elbows right across the upper line. No elbows in, but elbows actually out. You'll see the direction here. Lining them up on the top of the back. I was watching this thinking, those are some nice straps. I agree they are. One of my straps, leather, worn in. The best straps you're ever gonna use. If you find something better, you message me, I'll give you money back, I promise. So we're on to, we did still the little hour in Croatia. So we're back onto our lower volume week again. So we're gonna repeat the process. Six weeks of accumulating volume, but this time our baseline strength is gonna be a lot higher. Obviously because we haven't had to build it up, it's there from those previous exercises. So back down to two sets of these exercises, which is nice because the, the sessions are a little shorter. We're looking forward to progressing again. This back session is very largely focused on the density of the back. Uh, you just saw the one pull down there, one vertical pull down to work those kind of directly lat fibers, but a lot of this was all about scap retraction, spinal flexion, working on that posterior chain, using that as a whole. Uh, because that's a big goal of mine this year is to really fill in the gaps. I feel like the frame is there. I feel like the shape is there, can get the condition. It's just now just filling in the gaps. So part of that is gonna be focusing on that back density, which is you know largely how this session was, was done. If we look at the back exercises there, uh, 45 hip degree extension, you're using a little bit of lumbar there, which of course you're gonna be utilizing. Uh, you've got the thoracic extensions, big, big compound movement, especially when you've got you know 40s in there, or whatever it was in the end. Uh, then you've got a big T-bar row for a big scat retraction. Then of course, the vertical pull down. Um, only a couple of sets on each, as like I said, this is my low volume week. This will start to go to three, three sets, maybe a few more as we start to go through the training cycle. But for now, that's my back done. We're gonna finish up on biceps here because that's still a big goal of mine for this off season. <clears throat> Done, which means I'm gonna do one of two things that no one ever trains <laughs> calves and abs. I am religiously gonna do it. I've got calves today, so it's good. good. So there's no secrets of calves. Uh, I just say pause, pause in both the lengthened and the short range. So when you're at the top and at the bottom, I feel like uh, calves is one of those easy things to almost use that stretch reflex and I think I think your Achilles has a bit of a, a reflex in it so if you do bounce on it you probably cause a little bit of tension there which you gotta be careful of so carbs two sets all right guys back to the familiar scene at the back of my car um, that's the session done and like I think I've said it a few times on the channel like I do see value in not only sitting down and talking to you like you're adults because you are um, and but also getting into it and actually getting after a workout so you can see the application of the principles uh, along with the intensity you know along with what really goes into bodybuilding and building a physique that you're proud of so uh, that is my take on back thickness that's you know a big big thing that I'm taking into my training principles I'm hoping to improve that back to make it Olympia standard like I said so we're gonna do what we can do. If you guys have been enjoying the videos recently, drop a like, drop a comment, always helps the channel big time. So I appreciate you guys for tuning in. We'll see you very soon. Peace everybody, bye-bye.